Good morning. Good morning, Holy Innocence. Um, friends, family, any guests or visitors joining us, it's very good to be with you this morning on Wednesday, the second day of December. My name is Reverend Kenya Thompson, and I am um, one of the priests here at Holy Innocence. I'm so pleased that you're joining me on this brisk Wednesday morning, the second day of September. You know, it seems like um, suddenly winter has arrived. I was uh, joking with my with my mother-in-law, who is from, we're all from Indiana, that I wanted to see snow um, when we visit after Christmas, and she uh, immediately <laughs> did not agree, did not agree with that. Uh, but it is nice indeed to have a little chill in the air and a beautiful sunny day, um, the Wednesday after Thanksgiving. Uh, I certainly hope that everyone had a great Thanksgiving this year. I know that it may have been different for for a lot of us. Uh, maybe we didn't we weren't able to be with the extended group of family and friends that we typically are, but I hope that nonetheless uh, we were able to uh, to be around people or to be in touch with people. Um, our loved ones via Zoom, you know, old-fashioned uh, call, uh, and just have a enjoying and a relaxing day last Thursday. I will wait for just a few moments before I get started with prayer this morning to just to let a couple people sign on and, and get comfortable. Um, good morning, Paul. I see that you've joined us. I saw the, uh, the cranberry relish on Facebook and was immediately um, envious of uh, that relish was excellent. Uh, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'm not sure who else has jo joined us, but good morning as well. Uh, I have to say, and I said that I would, I would report back, uh, I had my first experience making a chocolate pecan pie, which was wonderful, uh, wonderfully decadent. I should say. Um, I typically, I don't eat much pecan pie because it's just so sweet, uh, but something about the, the bitter chocolate took that edge off, and it was um, a shame to say my husband and I completed the whole pie uh, within a week. Uh, not, not sure how good that is. Uh, good morning. Thank you for, for joining us this Wednesday morning. I hope that everyone is well. We are moving into our first week of, of Advent, um, a time that we've, you know, we've um, celebrated Advent before uh, that time leading up to Christmas. And we are in a season of anticipation, of waiting, and most importantly, one of hope. And that is what I would really like for all of us to to, to hang on to. This is a, a season of anticipation and, and hope of love bursting into the world. Good morning, John. Um, love and hope bursting into the world. And um, wow, isn't that the light at the end of the tunnel uh, amidst you know everything that is going on around us? Good morning. All right. Um, I am going to go ahead and get started with morning prayer this morning. Please join me on page uh, 75 in your Book of Common Prayer. I hope that you all, good morning, I hope that you all received your latest packet of uh, worship materials for, for morning prayer, for Sunday Eucharist. If for some reason you have not, uh, please reach out to any of us and let us know so we can get you those worship materials as soon as possible. All right, let's go ahead and get started on page 75 in your Book of Common Prayer, or hopefully you've received your leaflets. Um, let us now begin morning prayer. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall, shall see it together. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Together, 
let us say the Venite, which is on page 82 in your Book of Common Prayer, or it is printed here in your bulletin. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to hear his voice. That's beautiful. Our Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 119 verses 1 through 24 and it can be found on page 763 in your book of common prayer so our psalm for this morning is psalm number 119 verses 1 through 24 on page 763 let's read that psalm together happy are they whose way is blameless who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with all their hearts, who never do any wrong, but always walk in his ways. You lay down your commandments and we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By keeping to your words? With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commandments. I treasure your promise in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, instruct me in your statutes. With my lips will I recite all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your decrees than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. My delight is in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger here on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the insolent. Cursed are they who stray from your commandments. Turn me from shame and rebuke, for I have kept your decrees. Even though rulers sit and plot against me, I will meditate on your statutes. For your decrees are my delight and they are my counselors. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson for this morning comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. So our first reading is from the Prophet Isaiah, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. A reading from Isaiah. In days to come, 
the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above all the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come let us walk in the light of the Lord. For you have forsaken the ways of your people, O house of Jacob. Indeed, they are full of diviners from the east and of soothsayers like the Philistines. And they clasp hands with foreigners. Their land is filled with silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is filled with horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is filled with idols. They bow down to the work of their hands, to what their own fingers have made. And so people are humbled, and everyone is brought low. Do not forgive them. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust from the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty. The haughty eyes of people shall be brought low and the pride of everyone shall be humbled and the Lord alone will be exalted on that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to our first reading from prophet Isaiah, let us say together canticle number 15, the song of Mary. The song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help, to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson appointed for this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 19 through 26. Sorry, let me start that again. Our second lesson for this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke chapter 20, verses 19 through 26. So it's chapter 20. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. When the scribes and the chief priests realized that he had told this parable against them, they wanted to lay hands on him at that very hour, but they feared the people. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be honest 
in order to trap him by what he said, so as to hand him over to the jurisdiction and the authority of the governor. So they asked him, Teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach, and you show deference to no one, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, show me a denarius whose head and whose title does it bear? They said, the emperors. He said to them, then give to the emperor the things that are the emperors and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able in the presence of the people to trap him by what he said. And being amazed by his answer, they became silent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to our gospel reading this morning, together let us read the song of Zechariah, which is canticle number 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Just a, a, a few a, a few things to um, to mention today. Uh, on today, December the second, we commemorate a gentleman named Channing Moore Williams, who was the missionary to Asia. Um, he was born in 1829 and ordained in 1855. He graduated from Virginia Theological Seminary, which a number of uh, priests in our diocese have graduated from, as well as our bishop. The Episcopal Church actually sent him to China, where he was ordained a priest in 1857. Um, he then was sent to Japan and then consecrated bishop of China and Japan. And I mean, imagine that, uh, particularly back in, in those days. Um, that was huge that he was sent um, to share and to spread and to teach the gospel and for just such a huge leadership role um, is pretty, pretty incredible. Um, it's also important to note that he founded what is now St. Paul's University. Um, and that is something that is, uh, we can, can, can attribute to him. Um, he certainly um, broke some broke some some patterns and um, he moved and he he led outside of his comfort zone and most importantly um, he answered to a call from 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 God um, he went out on a limb and sort of experienced that um, discomfort I think that sometimes we all experience when we say when we say yes to God or when we say here I am um, we never know what that is going to mean for us until we listen for what God has to say. 
Uh, so we uh, commemorate uh, Channing Moore Williams on this day. We thank him for all that he has contributed um, to the spreading of the gospel um, abroad, in particular um, in Japan and in China. In thinking about um, Channing Moore Williams and other, other missionaries, and just in thinking about us, you know, particularly during this season of Advent, um, one of the, the, the things that um, I've been meditating about is saying yes to God and being prepared for, for what that means and being prepared for God to speak to me and to speak to my heart and to show me what that looks like during this season um, in my life. On our, on our highlights and highlights and, and also on, on Facebook, there is a, an Advent calendar for 2020 posted and it lists on every day uh, suggested actions that, that we can take during this season of Advent. And so the action for today, which I'll share with you, um, was to set a timer for three minutes to silently repeat this prayer. Here I am, God, until time is up. And I have to admit, I, you know, I, I tried this this morning at about 6, 6 a.m. And um, three minutes is a longer time than, than one would anticipate. But I encourage you, if you do have some time to, today, to, to set a timer for three minutes and to repeat the prayer, here I am, God, until that time is up and meditate on where that, where that leaves you spiritually and, and emotionally. And again, this calendar should also be in highlights um, so you can see the, the, the month ahead and some, some of the different uh, meditations and suggestions for Advent as we move forward in our faith. We continue this morning with the Apostles' Creed, which can be found on page 96 in your Book of Common Prayer. Together, let us pray. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue now with our prayers. May the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We continue with our suffrages. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Amen. We continue with, our, with prayer this morning with our colleagues for today. 
Um, our first collect is a, a, a collect um, in commemoration of Channing Moore Williams. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for your servant, Channing, whom you called to preach the gospel to the peoples of Asia. Raise up, we pray, in this and every land, heralds and evangelists of your kingdom, that your church may proclaim the unsearchable riches of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our second college for this morning, let us pray together a college for peace. It can be found in your Book of Common Prayer on page 98 or on page 8, which is the back side of this leaflet. Together, let us pray a college for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our concluding collect for this morning is a collect for mission. It can be found on page 100 in your Book of Common Prayer, or it's here in your leaflet. Together, let us pray. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue with our litany for these days. Please respond to the petitions with graciously hear us. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold for the health and well-being of our nation, for those working on the front lines for our care, and for all who work in the service industry, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For the isolated and the housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. Please offer your prayers either silently or aloud or in our chat feature. We pray for those who are in jeopardy of losing their homes and their dwellings uh, for lack of financial means. God, that they will be shown mercy and that the funds will be found to keep them in shelter. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Let's continue by praying the general thanksgiving together. It's in your leaflet here, or it's on page 101 in your Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you all for joining this morning for morning prayer. Before we got started, I, I gave a brief um, Thanksgiving update, and I hope that all that you all had a had a wonderful Thanksgiving and had the time to either spend time with in person or reach out to friends and family. I hope that all your recipes were successful. Um, I made my first chocolate pecan pie, which was pretty awesome, I must say, although it was very sweet. Uh, well, not as sweet as the regular one. At any rate, thank you all. Um, please make sure to join um, Reverend Bill tomorrow and uh, Reverend Ruth on Friday. See you on Sunday. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. Take care.